So, up until this point, I've been enjoying watching Basketball Wise. I've been enjoying reviewing it, the caddy drama, the bullshit fights, everything under the sun. I've been enjoying this season. But y'all really need to figure out what the word fake mean and what the meaning of fake is because all y'all some fake behind on this show. Really, all y'all is fake. This gen situation, <sighs> to the gen situation, to y'all not showing up to people at events, to everything under the sun, we gonna talk about it all on this episode. It might be a long video, but bear with me. I promise you, by the time I get done ranting and raving and probably cussing and everything gets under the sun, you'll understand and get a full circle and get a nice review somehow out of this mess. Now let's talk about fakeness and let's talk about what we will do and what we won't do for a check. Now, most of y'all, when the word fake, fake being called up or fake being called or you fake, no, you fake, no, you fake, it's obvious y'all don't know the meaning or the definition of that word because every single one of y'all has showed fakeness more than one time per episode, per scene on this episode. We gonna start with the quickest one of them all, Evelyn Lazada. We gonna jump on the chat thing and we gonna twinkle and we gonna go down from there. First of all, Evelyn, Chad Ochocinco is your ex-husband. He's free game. He can date, see whoever the hell he wanna see. Just cause OG know him does not make her a group with, does not mean she want to jump on his thing, does not mean she want a relationship with him, does not mean she want to be a side piece led right along with Kwani. You sounded jealous, fake, and insecure in that moment, in that scene. How you going to call this girl a groupie in the jump off? Just cause she know Chad Ocho Cinco. And the way PB said it, yeah, it can come off as groupy, drunk ball, trying to jump on the dick or whatever. But see, where well, you missed out on that situation in that sentence when PB said it, they both play football. She played for the girls, he played for the boys, or used to play for the boys. I don't. I, Look, I ain't keeping up with Chad Ocho Cinco and what the hell he doing. That alone, you shouldn't have said what the hell you said. Because you sounded like a jealous ass woman that want him back or you watching who he dating with, who he seeing about and all that. Whether she want Chad or not, that's none of your concern and none of your business. You should have said, oh, he play football, she play football. Oh, it's cool or whatever. The fact that Phoebe brought that up, she wanted a reaction out of you. Because what the hell is she doing following Chad Ocho Cinco in the first place? Second of all, watching his tweet so hard to see who he retweet and then what video he looking at. That showed me that in that instance when she brought that up, she was being fake as fuck and she was being phony and she wanted some stuff to go down exactly what you gave her oh she a groupie oh she a jump out she wanna fuck him she wanna fuck him don't everybody like black men and then everybody attracted to chad ocho sinker like you was once evelyn get over yourself get all the way over yourself just cause another woman looking at chad don't mean they want to jump on them they can be friends. They can be cordial. Hell, they both play in the same league, just like she played for the women's, he played for the men's. You mean to tell me they can't be friends because they both play football? Like, you sounded dumb, ignorant, and everything else under the sun, calling that woman a groupie like you know this woman. You only must get along with this woman. So you just kind of assume just because she looking at your ex-husband or talking to your ex-husband on Twitter and he might have retweeted her video or her twerking on a woman's head, you're going to assume that she want to have sex with him. 
Now, I see people call you a hoe. I ain't calling you no hoe. You don't see me going around calling you one. I'm just saying by what other people call you a hoe. Now, what if I'm going to go ahead and believe everybody what they say? You is a hoe. And I'm calling you a hoe. Would you like that? Would you like somebody labeling you as something you're not? The same thing go for OG. How the hell are you going to call her a groupie and a jump off? And all you can know, hell, you don't even much know who Chad know and who Chad don't know. They both play the same sport. The only difference is he play for the males, she play for the females. So what's up with all the groupie and jump off stuff? Just like I said, you don't want people to call you no hoe and all that selling your thing to get these rich men or these football players or these ballers. You don't want nobody to label you as that, but it's okay to label somebody else as one dog just because they was looking at your ex-husband or got a retweet from your ex-husband and they got to be Evelyn. Pick a lane to stay in it. That's all I'm going to tell you. And another thing, you is fake as hell. You basically smiled in this woman's face after San Diego talking about Tammy and all. Now all of a sudden you don't feel comfortable and you don't feel safe with Jennifer going to Costa Rica even though you've been smiling in this girl face and all this and all that. Really? Even going to the woman that been in Malaysia, you fake as hell too. That's going to hurt me because I actually like you. You actually one of my top favorites on this show right along with CC and Jackie crazy behind and um and Tammy too I learned I learned to love Tammy and Tammy also but Malaysia you fake as hell too how in the hell you gonna talk about oh as soon as I walk into that wind they popping cameras they popping flashes I'm seeing cameras all around have you ever heard of using your two feet and running the hell away and ducking and dodging the camera have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of, no, I don't want to take no photos. Please don't take no photos of me. I'm fine. Take photos of everybody else. Don't don't put no take no photo of me unless you plan on giving me the photo. So don't take no photos of me. So that's the excuse you running. You and Jen, I mean you and Evelyn as a consensus, as a per as um as agreement that. Y'all feel like Jen event for her mother and her cancer and her uh, little event she threw, the little the sipping shop. Y'all feel like that was a publicity stunt. And y'all feel like Jen took all them pictures, the kumbaya and all this and all that what y'all said. Okay, how is that possible? And second of all, Malaysia. Didn't you post that same photo, but crop Jen out of that picture, but you feel like you were being surrounded and hunt down by the camera to take photos? You was too good to say, no, please, no photos. No, I don't want to take a photo or something like that. Like, y'all got to pick and choose, y'all. Y'all either going to be fake all the way around. Don't say you ain't fake. I don't want to hear, I ain't fake. I ain't fake. Don't be calling me fake. I don't want to hear it no more. Come on, none of y'all behinds no more. Because all y'all is fake as hell. Just like Evelyn was sitting around here playing around in this woman's face, and then all of a sudden, she don't feel comfortable. She don't feel safe going to Costa Rica. That's like private. I want to have fun or whatever. But she okay inviting Phoebe, even though Phoebe on the been in the show for what? A two and a half minutes, and all of a sudden, she get an invite automatically to You see how they politic around this show? And Shawnee, you is a fool. You really are a fool. I thought you were smarter than that with all these companies, that business, and all this dispensaries and all that you coming out with. I thought you at least had a little bit of common sense. That was your trip. You planned on this show. Of course, you plan all the expenses, including this show is. How you gonna let them politic and pick and choose who they wanna invite and who they don't wanna invite? Now, Malaysia said she don't wanna look at Jen, but if Jen coming, she can be cordial and she can be nice or award her all in person. She did it in San Diego, so you mean to tell me she can't do it in Costa Rica? 
No, here come Evelyn, like she got to say, like she putting into the pot for the Costa Rica trip. We ain't writing Jen, really. I don't feel comfortable with her. I don't feel safe with her going. Do we really have to invite her? Please, Mama Shani, don't invite her to this trail. Like, that's supposed to be private. We're supposed to be having fun. I don't feel comfortable and I don't feel safe. When had Jennifer, well, you know what? I ain't gonna say. Y'all must start Jennifer carry guns and knives, knives around on her. And she gonna stab y'all in any second. But Jean, but Evelyn, you don't feel safe taking her overseas with you. But the last two, three episodes, you was around this girl bashing, bashing Tammy. You was around this girl, like Jen said. You done had lunch with her. Y'all done, you done had lunch with her. You came to her win. Y'all done talked about Tammy and everything else under the sun. But you don't feel safe for taking her over overseas with you. And this ain't even much your trip. This is Shawnee a win, a trip. So what the hell makes you think you got to say? And I would have told you if I was Shawnee, well, I love you, Jen. I love you, Evelyn. But I want Jen to come. So either you can do an Evelyn and not show up and not come, or you can come, be cordial, shut your mouth, or stay the hell home. Them your only options. And I don't care if you get mad at me. Like, Shawnee, you got to learn when to put your foot down. You sat there and let Evelyn and Kristen... Evelyn and Kristen sit there and politic who coming and who not coming. Like, really? And you don't even must know Phoebe. Are you sure you are you sure you able to trust Phoebe of all people to come on this trip? You barely met the girl, and now she coming on the trip, all this fits is paid. But Jen can't come. Hell, I prefer Jen to come. At least I know she gonna stab me in the back or whatever, or lie to me in my face. You totally invite you, you literally inviting a stranger to overseas with y'all to sleep with y'all and sleep in the same house with y'all and all this and all that, not knowing that this woman got a, a cuckoo clock or not, or got a um crazy clock that she can hear when she want to chase y'all with knives or gun, but you don't want Jen to come on this event, really? Like, Shawnee. I know this show keep a live thing. I, Shawnee, you got to learn to pick and choose your battles. And that would have been the time I would have stood my foot ground. Foot, I would have stood my ground. I would have told Evelyn, either you comment, Jen comment, stay your behind home. Don't tell me who I can and can't invite on my trip. You is not paying these bills to keep this show on the air. You is not sitting up here paying any other expensive that I got to pay and me and the show got to pay to get our asses over there overseas. And you think you get to pick and choose who the hell come on this trip? Are you nuts? Like the fact that y'all sat there and, and shining the, the fact that you sat there and let them politic over who coming and who not coming. I am ashamed of, well, you always have been fake, too. Let's not pretend you always have been fake. All y'all on this show fake. And I agree with Tammy. After nine seasons, get off this show because this show ain't no good. You making big moves. Apparently, all these girls need this show, and you don't. Um, I'm glad you leaving the show. Finally, after this last, after this season, um, Tammy, I am rooting for you and I am cheering for you. Even though I'm going to miss you, you need to get off this show. Because this show get faker and faker by the season. And they really be politicking their behinds off on this show. So everybody coming on the trip except, except Jen. Kristen have a problem with OG, I mean with CC And Kristen... Your little young mouth get you in trouble all the time. And you've been hanging around Shawnee and Evelyn and Phoebe too long and Jen too long. Because you got that little slick mouth just like they got their little slick, slick mouth in the confession. Oh, they inviting CeCe. 
well, I, the way I feel like she probably over there interrupted Byron and Thomas' relationship. That's probably what she doing. That's probably why y'all ain't seen her. Really, girl? Really? She probably over there interrupting Byron and Thomas' relationship and trying to get them together. That's why y'all haven't seen her. Really, girl? Of all the stuff you can say about Cece, that's what you choose to pick at. And you wonder why that man ain't talking to your behind. And you father sticking your foot, hooking your foot farther down your mouth by opening your big behind mouth, saying stuff you shouldn't be saying. That's nice to say. So CC interfering with Byron and Thomas' relationship, and she probably manipulating that the hard advantage. Really, really, Kristen, that's what we gonna say now. Like I said, you young and dumb, and I'm sticking with that. Cause that was nothing. That was not nothing nice to say, and you shouldn't have said it. And let's talk about these. Uh, the other fake part I want to get into. I never got all about my notes. We just gonna play around with the fakeness, and we gonna talk about the scene as we go. So, if I don't talk about sudden, we gonna end. We gonna quit. We gonna quit it all in there. I promise you, we gonna quit it all in there. Now, let's not to mention you notice when Shawnee threw the event. When Evelyn throws a throws an event, when Tammy throws, well, let's just say Shawnee and Evelyn throws an event. Everybody come, no excuses. We made it. We here. We having fun or whatever. But how come Jackie and threw an event? Threw an event only OG. Wait, yeah, only OG and Jen came. OG threw an event a her retirement party. Um, Jen came, Jackie came, oh, Shawnee, oh, I couldn't make it. McKee had a basketball game, oh, I couldn't make it. Uh, that's the excuse she had for Jackie podcast. The excuse she had for OG when, oh, I couldn't make it. It was my daughter's birthday party, so I couldn't have, I couldn't have made it to that neither. Shawnee, it's amazing how you so busy, but everybody else. But I bet you, if that was Evelyn, and it was on the same day of those events, I bet you would have had your big head behind there and would have been there laughing, dancing, and everything else under the sun. Shawnee, you lied to that woman in her face. Ain't no way, no hell, you going to mean to tell me that you couldn't have somebody go in your place and go to that child um, basketball event or you could have just missed out on this event and took your behind the um Jackie podcast. Ain't no way in hell that you gonna tell me that this birthday party, your daughter so called so called hell, you can push that back until OG a win her retirement party wasn't over. See you lying in that woman's face, and I noticed how you was lying, how the way you said it. Oh, I couldn't make it to Jackie podcast because. We had a baseball basketball game, and you know I couldn't miss it. Jackie said, oh, "Okay, okay, fine. I understand. It's your it's your um, child event, basketball event. Okay, fine. That's cool." OG win. Oh, I couldn't make it. Um, it was my daughter's birthday party, so I couldn't come to that. Common sense would have told me to push it back. Well, I can at least go to OG event or at least make an appearance to show her that I came and then leave and then leave and miss a little piece of part of my child, the child birthday party, then come in like Shawnee say the bullshit for somebody else that don't know you. I've been knowing you for basketball my, my basketball wise Miami the first season up to now. You is fake as hell. You could have made them events if you were Rick. I bet you it was Evelyn your ass would have been there. Save the BS um shiny. Cause you could have made it there. You really wanted to come there. Let's go on another to a fake scene. Evelyn. Did you or did you not, while you was talking to Phoebe, did you or did you not let Phoebe basically talk for you? You sat there and laughed and chuckled and made a joke. So you can't lie about it because they played the tape twice for us already and the tape ain't changed and the tape wasn't altered. You is fake as hell. Because you did chuckle and you did make a joke about it when OG was telling, um... 
fuck with Jackie about the fight that day. When Jackie was telling Phoebe to come outside, you did laugh and joke about that, and you did basically let Phoebe be your mouthpiece and let and let and basically and basically let Phoebe speak for you and say that Han and Jackie are not friends. You didn't correct her. You didn't check her. You did sit there and laugh, and if I also remember correctly, you also did make a joke or chuckle about it too. So what the hell are you mad about? You mad because OG told Jackie about that, and Jackie checked your behind to make sure you weren't playing quick behind her back? Oh, now you mad at TOG. Mm-hmm. And Phoebe, Miss Thing, did you or did you not, after the court case with Jackie, did you or did you not sit there and talk about Jackie like a dog? They replayed the tape on that too. You basically called that woman 70 something and I want to hit her, but that'd be um elderly abuse and I ain't trying to go to jail for that. So where was the lie, Phoebe? Where was the lie, Evelyn? Where was the lies? We want to hear the lies. We want to hear you confirm that those was lies. Because either the tape are lying or you lying or both of y'all just fake as hell. So you mad at OG basically because OG basically told on your behalf which you was being fake as hell. And you did let Phoebe basically talk for you in that instance when um OG was telling Phoebe to come outside and talk to Jackie. Phoebe... You either lying or being fake as hell, or the tape lying on you when after that court case, you did or didn't say that about Jackie and call her old lady and basically talking about assaulting that woman. Did you or did you not say that? See, y'all got to pick and choose y'all lives. I know y'all done filmed this show. Ain't no telling how many months or week ahead of time. I know it's hard for y'all to keep up with y'all lies y'all tell. And sometimes the truth y'all tell. But y'all better learn to keep up with them. Cause the TV's all the cause the um cause the um editing people are always ready to make a damn fool out of y'all. They made a fool out of you, Evelyn, and they made a fool out of you, um Phoebe. Evelyn, they made a double fool out of you tonight. They best to let you sit there and basically call OG a jump off in the hole, basically, where everybody been calling you all these years. Like you got in the room to talk about anybody and why you and why you so concerned or worried about who Chad Ocho Cinco having sex with and who he ain't having sex with. And Phoebe, you knew I don't feel sorry for you. I want something. Well, I ain't going to talk about you like you want to assault Jackie. But the same thing you talk about Jackie being assaulted, I want that to happen to you. Let's just put it that way. I ain't going to threaten your little behind. Uh, we going to pray about um, CC and her cancer scare. And I hope it ain't cancer. And hopefully she um, live a productive life. And it's just a scare, not cancer. And she live on to live a beautiful life with her and her husband. Oh, um... Back to Evelyn, now that I'm speaking of Evelyn. Evelyn, you are very insecure. And I've been noticing and I've been noticing this since basketball wise Miami. For you to be noticing what OG Freak doing and how they hanging out, what like OG said, why are you so concerned and why are you so worried about my feet? So what are my feet hanging out the, uh, uh, hanging out the outside of my of my heels? So what is my feet like this over my heels? Why is it any your concern and why is it any your business? And you two got darn grown to be going around here renaming people children, calling that woman Toji, worrying about if that woman wearing real or fake clothes, worrying about what that woman feet and toes are doing. You two got darn grown for that, Elvis. And this show that made a darn fool out of you after all these years, and this show still showing all your insecurities that you got with yourself and you and all the stuff you didn't did on this show. Like Evelyn, you ain't tired of this show making a fool out of you yet. Like seriously, this show bring out the most insecurities out of you ever. And it always have and it's gonna continue to, just as long as you stand on this show. Like worrying about that woman feed. 
worrying about what that woman wearing ready is, real or fake. What have your world have come to when we worrying about what somebody else's toes are doing, as long as they're not your toes? Why the hell do you care? Worrying about is that woman wearing real or fake Prada or Gucci? When did that become any you know, of your concern? And if you that pressed and bothered about with that woman wearing real or fake, why don't you go buy her a whole wardrobe since you so concerned and worried and pressed about what the hell she wearing? See, it goes both ways, Evelyn. You can't have your cake and have it too. I give you that. Your clapbacks do be real, but sometimes your clapbacks hit you right in the throat. Just like that word about OG and her clothes and what her toes doing and then renaming a woman told you like that supposed to be cute or funny. Or he told you that's funny. He. Yeah, insecurity. That's what that is. Jen, don't worry about these girls. Like you know for a long, long time, these girls are never your friend. You ain't got nothing to prove at this point. I think this is your last season too, and I guess you tired of trying. Maybe OG will get the memo sooner rather than later and stop trying and stop trying to make these girls be her friends, which is never going to happen. Just like they exile um, Tammy for a couple of seasons, they're going to exile you, and you really think it's worth it. Like you didn't saw how fucking phony these girls are. If it ain't about the head balls or Evelyn, you not concerned and you not worried. You see how they don't come to y'all events, but let Shawnee or Evelyn throw it in. I bet you everybody will be there. Even the people you don't like, they'll be there. Like, is it really worth it to be these girlfriends? Yeah, that's a nice check, but... Is it really worth it in the long run to be around some jealous, insecure women that love to fight, love drama, and love to keep the shit going? Like, is it really worth it in the long run? Yes, you get your name on TV. Yes, you on TV. Yes, you famous. But is it really worth your your um your sanity and your safe spot and if it really worth you to get out of your character just cause a woman tried you on tv and you looking on tv like a wild animal trying to beat the woman up like is it really worth it og to you you want to retire in style not retire worrying about what this one said about you and what your feet don't like if y'all agree with that, I guess, but like I said, it ain't worth it to me. I don't give a damn how much Shawnee paying me. Really, it ain't worth it to me. And I think, I think Jen, after this episode, I think she finally got the memo, and I think she tired of trying now. And you are right, Jen. Evelyn been fake as hell to you, and Shawnee been fake as hell to you, and these helpers came to your mama at Ren, scared they were gonna get um, scared they were gonna get caught up in some photos, and then act like they was a publicity stunt for you or whatever. Like, is it really worth it in the long run? Like, that's what y'all to figure out, and that's for me not to worry about. I just had to talk about how fake this show is. And a half of these notes, like, real. And, um, anyways, though, y'all, I'm going to leave that there. I know I ain't talking about what happened on the show. I talked about it and how fake everybody was. But I knew it wasn't what y'all wanted to hear, whatever. But anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. I'm going to get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.